I've already shuffled and we'll be taking a look at the recent past energy between you and the person that you're currently dealing with. We'll see what's coming up for the two of you. We'll find out what the challenge is going to be. And then we'll take a look and see what the outcome is. So Aquarius, the recent past energy between you and your person, well, we got the High Priestess and it's with the Page of Swords. So this is telling me that you are dealing with someone who you could have been really drawn to. Um, they could have been really attractive, good looking. Um, yeah, you felt some type of maybe mag magnetic pull, pull to this person or to the connection. Yeah, there was something that you really liked about this person. Because the High Priestess can be a time when you could find people all of a sudden just drawn to you. And I'm getting for some of you, this, this is how you felt about your person. There was something about this person that you you were just, you felt like there was some type of pull that they they had on you. But because it's with the Page of Swords, the card that's below the word pass, it's telling me that this person could have been uh, younger than you. Because whenever you hear the word page in the tarot, that can indicate a student, it can indicate youth, it can indicate immaturity, or like I said, maybe someone who's just younger than you. Maybe by a few days, a few months, a few years, and for some of you, maybe even a few decades. Yes, some of you do get down like that. So... This person was a type that um, might have been a type that would bring conflict. Um, for some of you, this person was, they could have been a type what, that, that you felt they were a drama king or a drama queen at times. Um, because the Page of Swords is a type that would sometimes push too fast. Or try too hard. Or sometimes when you deal with them, it could feel like they're stepping on your toes. Yeah, some type of immaturity here. But there was something about this person that made you really drawn to them. Now, for some of you, you were dealing with a Gemini. Lib Libra or Aquarius. Yeah, so that was the recent past energy. Some conflict was with your person who was on the immature side. But let's see what's coming up for the two of you. So we got this Four of Swords. And it's with the Six of Pentacles. Now, the Four of Swords, as you can see... By looking at the picture, the card that's above the word present, it's showing a need for a break. For a break. Yeah, so you could be feeling like you want some time away from this person. Because like I said, their energy can be challenging at times. Yeah. Um, you could be feeling like you're you give too much to this connection. For some of you, you're the one who's doing most of the giving. Um, because I'm saying this, it's because I'm looking at the Six of Pentacles, the card that's below the word present. That card is about, it's actually about giving. Yeah, giving or receiving. It can be about a good relationship, but because it's paired with the Four of Swords, the card that's above the word present, it's telling me that you feel like there is not a healthy dose of give and take in the connection. 
like I said, for a lot of you, you're the one who's doing most of the giving. You could be the one who's, you you could feel like you're the one who's doing all the work in the relationship. Maybe you're always the one who's footing the bill. And with, like I said, with this page of swords type of energy, coming up, you'd feel like you want to withdraw for a while. You need a break from this person. Yeah, if you look at the four of swords, the card above the word present, yeah, you might just want to go away for a while, take your dogs up to the top of the mountain like he is, and just hide out for like a few days. He, he's got a candle in his shoe. So he's planning on being there overnight, maybe a couple of nights. And this is how you could be feeling. You'd rather be with your dogs alone on the mountaintops than with this person coming up. Yeah, you're doing all the giving. Not a healthy dose, not a healthy dose of give and take. So let's move on over. Let's take a look and see. What the challenge is, we got the Three of Swords, and it's with the Ten of Pentacles. Now, the Three of Swords, it's kind of ugly, as you can see. It's not a pretty card in the tarot. That's the card above the word challenge. Your person, they, they realize that you've disappeared, so they're starting to feel hurt. Three of Swords is about heartbreak. They feel like you shut them out. They feel like the relationship is starting to feel difficult. They feel like you, you're closing yourself off from them. They're starting to, their mind is starting to run, run, thinking that you severed ties from them. Yeah, so they're starting to really feel bad. Three of Swords is ugly. Yeah, they feel rejected by you. Because for some of you, you probably will not. For some of you, you won't be telling this person. And for some of you, you will be telling them that you want to break. For others, you're just going to go. And they could be feeling some kind of way. Yeah. So they're hurt. Because they see you. Aquarius, your person sees you as the Ten of Pentacles. Someone that they want it all with. Ten of Pentacles is a place to call home. Ten of Pentacles is commitment. It's marriage. It's childbirth. It's engagement. This person, if you're not in a relationship with them, believe it or not, they want a relationship with you with the Ten, ten of Pentacles showing up here. And if the two of you are at, are at odds... They could be wanting a second chance. So they see you as their end all be all. And it looks like they feel like you just ghosted them. You sh they feel like you should have took them with you. Instead of the dogs. Yeah, they feel rejected. But let's move on over. Let's take a look and see what the outcome is. Okay, so we got the King of Swords, and it's with the Ten of Wands. Now, the King of Swords, it's a very cold energy. It's very forceful. It's a detached energy. It's about closing yourself off. It's the type of person, the King of Swords, that will use their head over their heart. A very forceful type of energy. So, what this is telling me that the outcome coming up is, like I said, your person is hurt. They feel rejected. They feel like you ghosted them because you just, you know, you, you withdrew. Four of Swords we talked about that. It's about rest after a struggle. It's about withdrawing, taking a break, just going off somewhere and hiding. A person is a page of source, they can be challenging. Yeah. Your person, like I said, 
the outcome is showing that they they're still hurt they might feel like they want to cut you before you cut them yeah because like i said they got this immature energy they want to get you before you get them so they might feel like they got to detach they got to cut you off before you cut them off and that's what the king of swords does so don't be surprised if your person tries to beat you to the punch break up with you before you you break up with them because they're feeling really bad they're feeling some kind of way and it's not good so they want to beat you to the punch they feel you could be maybe trying to move on they already feel like you ghosted them and they just it's starting to feel difficult the relationship because the ten of wands is here the card that's below the word outcome Ten of Wands, it's about a hard place in a relationship. You could feel, you both could feel like um, the connection is starting to suck the life out of you. Yeah. So, like I said, Aquarius, you're dealing with the kind of a childish energy. For some of you, this person is a lot younger than you, so... That's kind of what you get. They see that you you're you're taking these breaks and it's offending them, so they're gonna cut you before you cut them. At least they're gonna try to. And you may not even be trying to cut them. You just want to break from them. But that's how that page of swords is. Their mind runs wild, and they want to get you before you get them. So. They might really start to do some silly stuff. And the relationship can start to feel difficult. Even more so than it was. But just know underneath it all, they do want a relationship with you. And yeah, you feel like you do too much of the giving. So, I guess it, if you stay with this person, it's a work in progress. So that is the reading that I have for your Aquarius. I hope you enjoy the reading. I hope it resonates. As you know, general readings, they do not resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like the reading, please comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell. That way you'll be notified when I post my next reading. I'll also put a link below of the extended of this reading, where I'll go over how you both feel about the situation, what's in the near future for the two of you, How you see yourself, best case scenario, and what will happen between the two of you in the next few weeks. There's also a link below for personal readings if you'd like to try one of those. So Aquarius, thank you so much for watching. I hope all of you are doing well and staying safe during this crazy virus season, right? Hang in there. It's going to pass. We'll all get through this. So stay strong and take good care. I hope to see you at the next reading. Please join me. Just in case this reading did not resonate. Maybe the next reading will. Also keep in mind the roles of the people can be switched. They can be reversed. Yes, meaning you could be them. Or they could be you. And if you're not dealing with anyone romantically. The other person could be a friend, a family member, a co-worker. Or maybe even a situation. So just take the reading for however it resonates. Because once again. These are general readings. They are not personal readings. So Aquarius. I can never say it enough. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope to see you at the next reading. And take care.